I'm not sure if this is gonna be the end of To the Moon, but if it is. Well, if it is, then welcome to the finale. To the moon. Again, hopefully it's not. Anyway, let's, let's get on with this. Where is that moment flow? Okay, let's activate the moment flow, my dude. Let's go to when he was a baby. What? Ack, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? The hell? What the hell is that? That was what? Oh. What? Where are we? It's the Twilight Zone. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction with the machine's ADG. Again, I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage year saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as you succeed, he doesn't have to know. What are you guys gonna do? Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. Dang. What the hell is this? What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Oh, it's gonna be the end. What? Act two. The hell is Act 2? Are you telling me we just started the game or something? Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily. But they need concentration. Cool. Akdos? Or K I O Nakdos. Oh, we're, we're back to Jonathan over here. And that's all this old fool knows. Huh. Sorry, I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Alright, that's all. All that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then... Can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were one of your true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This, this is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likening, his likeness but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life 
one where the desire ch the dictates their behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. I surely believe that. Why do you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Bye, Johnny boy. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Ah, all of our night's work. Night, more like nights, more like months. Did? Man, look at this. Look at this giant game we played. Gosh. Darn it. Yeah, you saw that? There's another space over there. What the... At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. <sighs> Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is to pass his, de his desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Oh god, are you kidding me? Line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Did I do it right? Did, did, did I do it? Oh. Cool. I oh, that made a line. Let's go over here then. Can we make a line with you? If we want to make a line with you, don't we have to make a line with you? Hey, Ava, check this out. Om nom 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 nom. Seriously? Oh my god, how do I do this? You did! How do? I'm not sure if we're done with this. Right, yeah, yeah, we're done. Over here in this department. Now, why isn't this guy working? Oh. I get this way. What's... nothing is the same. I right, only... only the flowers are the same. Oh, it's a, it's a matcheroo. It's a matcher dispatcher. There you go. So that's it, that's it. Wait, wait. That's the book. See, I got this. Then you do that. And then that, that connects. Right? I did. Please tell me I'm getting this right. Why was I not getting this right? Uh, could it be? Doing have to. It's gotta do something with this. Can it do something with this? There you go. Oh. Looks like a charm. My, my geniusness helps me a lot. Okay, the clock is what's somewhere between these two. The clock. Oh God. I'll just have it. I messed it up. I did it. Thing. That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me. Always ready. I want to see that. Dang it. 
There you go. It's cool. All right, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first? Not this time, hon. What is this? Do we got a straggler here? No loss. We can do this without him. I know, but feels incomplete. You get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. <sighs> okay. Let's see what he brought back from the moon then. Mm. Johnny, Johnny, Johnson. Let's see what you brought. Oh, wait. What, what, what exactly do we do? Oh, there you go. So it's the old guy. This is the same setting as, as his real last successful memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They're exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred. Was it not? It was. What? Where'd I go? Did I go in here? This is indeed the same. If this is indeed the same memory, you'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Eh? Who is here? Johnny? River? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu. Again. My name is Dr. Ava Rosling, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Yep, that's new. Freeze them, too. Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. I really hope I'm saying that right. All right. See if there are any changes. No. Oh. It transfers successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there are no changes at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest, the earliest we can get to. Let's go. Oh, we have to go. Oh. Was that not supposed to happen? Sorry. Sorry. What was it? I'm not sure. Our memories. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some simulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. <sighs> Talk with Moon. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Oh, Neil. I sure if you're eating popcorn without me, Neil. And what's your deal? What's your deal? You know, I was gonna be watching like the movie. To the moon, darling. Ooh, Henry. Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should see if anything's changed with John. 
Trevor made him sit through this, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, where I, I need to check on John to see if it's changed. Let's go see if it's changed. It's all the same. To try igniting it somewhere else, then this is ridiculous. It is really. But Lily, I'm gonna have to do all this again. Jeez, John, look what you're doing. We're going all through the memories. Perhaps something here could work. Mm. I don't have time for her right now. Oh yeah, that's right. So did she throw an encyclopedia in her face? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting! Let's go get a good spot! Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze! What is this? Is this like NASA? How's that? Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is. May I have your attention, please? Oh man, I'm done. I'm done. Really, what? Really? Oh god. As you know, I am representative. I'm. I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory, and I am here to tell you all about it. Hit it to me. <laughs> well. That was terrible. But I digress. Exactly. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of something, of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venice. To swim counterclockwise through the, through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon. Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... Do. I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth uh, as it is. Well... Don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. <laughs> well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the room. The moon. To start off, the moon is one? <laughs> the moon is 4.5 billion years old. Oh god. Four hours later. And did you know that its surface is as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... <laughs> also, it takes 1.5247 1 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. <laughs> And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. Watts. Jesus, Watts, you talk too much. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, what did you think?
NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. <sighs> hmm. I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. Back. Report? Utter failure. <laughs> Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are th still things to be done. Such as, well, what? We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for the, but you can afford the lunar trip lottery. If you sell this house, you sir can. God. Oh God, Neil, is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact. Did you know that? La <laughs> Did you know that NASA has excellent hair care, health care plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. <laughs> Free pony rides in space. Oh, look, a wedding. Good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? <gasps> God. River? Thing that bit glass slippery. Johnny, John, John. It was lucky. What? What the cucumber? Phew. You know what? This isn't. This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around and yelling him like an idiot. You didn't. Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known we'd be here, we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Charney's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. Oh my god! There is no denying that River played an important role through all that. If there's anything that could have caused the core change, she would be the top subject. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. We don't have much time left. <sighs> Wonder if Neil came up with anything. Imagine, like, 
um, Finding Paradise, which is the new game that's coming out, is like the continuation of this whole John story. That's my guess. See out here? Ah, oh, that scrolled me all. Oh god, I have to look for him in all this house. Uh, so many places to go. But, Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Oh, we're back in, like, the real world. No, oh, I thought we were, like, in a dream or something. <clears throat> I thought we were, like, sleeping inside of the, uh, inside of the thing. No, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Are you speaking with the headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now, Ooh, it's shiny. Shiny. But what if... Okay, I suppose so. I'm not sure. We'll have to check on that. Right. That part we can do. I'm not sure. We'll have to check on that. Um, what else can I do? No. How is John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just we just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. And this is the kitchen, right? Hmm, I see, I see. Right. That part we can do. I'm not sure I want to check on that. Come on, why do you keep on saying that? Come on. dialogue, please. Well, I mean, Lily's here so we can talk to her, I guess. Well, let's talk to you. Let's talk to Lily. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well... It's not an everyday circumstance. I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Um. Is this your full- This is your full-time job, isn't it? What would you- What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live in I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Oh. So what are you going to tell them about John? I don't know. I'll probably make up something. It's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. Two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes right through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Tony saw my ad and offered me this job I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. 
Doesn't the government issue grants to war window uh, widows to help get them back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, so he stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. Oh god. Oh hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, you told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So thank you. Oh god, I'm about to cry. What did you do? What did you do? Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of en enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers? Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with, and in such a large amount, its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what? So what now? I don't, I was just given the reconfiguration frequency that should get us past the blockers. And once Warner is talented, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? Just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies. We need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll, and we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we... But what do we know, know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, the stuff hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise? Pennywise? That's killing me. I'm going to get out to get some fresh air. Ahem. <sighs> Forgot my coffee. Receive node beta blocker. Okay. Ah. Uh, as much as I would love to just end the series here and like the entire playlist, too bad. Next time it's gonna be the finale. I know this one was quite a long episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of To the Moon. And I'll see you guys in the in the finale for the next one. Bye bye!